Hi there folks, and just kidding, roll the intro. Hi there folks and welcome back to the channel. What we have here today is a dress watch from a company called Escapement Time and this was very kindly loaned to me by Simon again from Watch The Time. Thank you very much mate, very kind of you. I uh, really appreciate you sending stuff in for me to have a look at. Uh, if you could go and check his channel out that would be fantastic. Thank you. Uh, right so this is what it comes in, just a generic cardboard box nothing special at all literally just a cardboard box piece of foam in the top and then you get to the watch underneath there we go that's how it comes um, just nicely securely packaged now I think that what we've got here is a cracking little dress watch um, I can't actually find any negatives with this at all uh, which is pretty unusual because you know, I, I, I do tend to pick on something, but I actually think this is really nice. Um, you've got, uh, size-wise, you've got a 40 mil case, including the crown. It's 41.5, 46.2 lug to lug. Got a thickness of 9.5 and a lug width of 20 mil. Uh, the crown is a push-pull crown. We'll move on that so you can see that it is indeed signed with the Escapement Time logo. Uh, 316L stainless steel construction, everything is high polished, therefore it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Not fault of the watch, just the way it is when you've got things that are high polished. Uh, but yeah, it does look good, it does look cool. The uh, the dial on this, as I said, it is covered with a uh, piece of sapphire crystal. Did I say that earlier or did I not? Um, so we'll take a quick look at that, we'll just zoom out and we will stick the diamond selector on and we will have a look and yep. That is most definitely a piece of sapphire crystal. And uh, it's got that kind of nice off-white, creamy coloured dial. Um, let's go back in again so we don't get the reflection because there's no AR coating. And um, yeah, I think it's nicer than a kind of a stark plain white dial. Plain white dials do have... Uh, Kind of a, uh, a, a yeah, they they have their, their their place and some people love them, but I quite like this kind of vintageish, vintageish. Have I just invented a word? Uh, kind of off white. Uh, we've got applied indices, double batten at the top, single battens everywhere else, with a minute track running around the outside. We have Dauphine style hands, escapement time logo at the twelve o'clock, and quartz at the bottom. Yes. This is a quartz, and you can see it's beating four times per second, uh, which is 14,400 beats per hour. Well, that's good maths. Uh, this has inside the Seiko VH31 high beat um, quartz movement, or mecha quartz, whichever you want to call it. Uh, the second hand on this is blued. It is actually heat treated and not painted blue. Let's see if we can get the... Uh, Get that in the light so that you can see that, uh, which is a very nice touch. And when you get this out into natural daylight, it's uh, it really does kind of play with the light. Those little angles on the ends of the uh, the, the batten indices and the the dauphine hands and that blues blued second hand that really does that. It's a it you know, looks cracking out in the daylight. And um, I mean, being a kind of nice. Slim 9.5 mil. I think it's great for uh, kind of wearing with a with a shirt and tie. Um, we've got uh, a leather strap, uh, which is uh, I mean it's okay. It's uh, nothing really to shout about, but it is quite good. It's reasonable quality, quite soft on the inside. Um, as you can see, it says genuine leather and you 20 mil, 
And uh, there we have Time King, which is presumably where they got the strap from. No quick release on these, uh, so you will need your spring bar tool if you're going to change this out. Uh, screw down case back with the Escapement Time logo laser etched into the middle. Uh, water resistance on this is 50 meters, which is absolutely fine for a dress watch. It's not like you're going to go jumping into a pool, depending on what kind of party you're at, I suppose. But, you know, there you go. 50 meters, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, there you go. I actually think that this is, as I say, that I think it's a cracking little watch. And, uh, you know, for the money, it's just below 60 GBP. Um, what's that in US? Probably around about $80, something like that. Um, and I, I actually think that it is really good value for money. As I said earlier, I can't really... I can't really fault it. It's, uh, you know, it's one of these watches that's from AliExpress that is uh, just kind of, and it's an inoffensive, nicely made, well thought out dress watch. And size wise, I think is absolutely spot on as well at 40 mil and nice and thin, as I said earlier. So yeah, no loom. So we've got no loom shot today. Uh, that's it, really. That's all I've got for you. As I said, I think just a cracking value, nice looking little dress watch. So if you like this kind of content and you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like this video. That's the best way that you can help. And uh, it's free. Costs you nothing. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers for now.